What's going on, you guys? Sorry, Deacon's yelling out there. Fat Kid Productions here. And today, uh, today was not a very good day for me, and uh, I'm about to tell you why. Uh, now, you're probably wondering why the name of the vlog is Bad People. So I'm about to tell you a story about bad people. Uh, now, this story actually happened today. Uh, early this morning, as a matter of fact. Um, now, I'm not going to give out real names in this story, but this story does have a happy ending. So, let's be happy about that, right? Well, it all started when, uh, I, when I went and hung out with my buddy. Uh, we'll call him, we'll call him Willie. William. We'll call him William. Uh, I went to hang out with William at his house. And um, William's mom told me about her ex-boyfriend and how he's kind of a jerk. I'm sorry. It, that's so annoying. I'm sorry. Anyway, so... I'm sorry. Uh, bah. Anyway, so, okay, let me get back to the story. Um, anyway, so... Uh, okay, that is such a distraction. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to go tell him to shut up. Um, anyway, so... Today, so William's, uh, William's mom told me about her ex-boyfriend, how he's kind of an abusive jerk, and, uh, well, I was like, that sucks, why don't you call the cops on him, and, uh, she was like, well, I mean, they, apparently, they can't prove anything, uh, see, in the town I live in, I'm not gonna tell you what town, uh, we have one police officer who is very lazy, and he pretty much responds to everything, uh, I don't know, but, uh, anyway, so, Here's how how it happened. Um, he showed up to William's house this morning, um, and well, he started getting aggressive with his mom, my my friend's mom, and uh, he, well, yeah, you know, he's yelling and shit. And I found out that within the course of the last couple of days, before I spent the night there, uh, he actually showed up to their house and destroyed some of their stuff, like a fan, and almost injured his baby. And so, yeah. Anyway, so so he's out there yelling and stuff, and then, well, then what happens is uh, my buddy goes out there, and he's yelling at him, and so I was like, okay, okay, you got to get back in the house. And, um, well, yeah, so I got him back in the house, and uh, I was like, just don't even give him the benefit of the doubt. And so I was, I was trying to keep as calm as I could, and then all of a sudden he's like, you come out here, I'm going to beat your ass like a grown man. And he's like, you and you, big man, referring to me as big man. And so I was like, wow, I didn't even do anything. I'm kind of baffled at this point. I was like, damn. And yeah, I, was, I didn't even do anything wrong. I was just there to keep people from killing each other. And, uh, well, I mean, let me tell you something. My buddy, William, he was about to beat the shit out of this guy. Anyway, so... So then uh, that all ends. My, uh, my friend, Mickey, well... His, my friend Mickey, you see, he's a good guy. I will use his name. No, yeah, I will he use his name because I don't really think he minds. That's the only real name I'm going to use. His name's Mickey. That's all I'm telling you. He comes out, and uh, you see, Mickey's a former, a former vet. So if shit needs to get handled, he'll handle it. And so he comes out, and he's like, dude, you better go home. And uh, you see, Mickey is sort of friends with the bad guy, and he's sort of friends with us, too, so... And he doesn't take sides, so he's neutral. But I, I wish he would take sides, but probably not going to happen. Uh, anyway, so like I said, this story is a happy ending, so remember that. Uh, anyway, so so he goes, he leaves. The uh, the ex boyfriend leaves, and uh, we go back inside and we're just chilling, you know. And then uh, maybe an hour later, my buddy's mom goes to go to work, and then she comes back to the house crying, like you know, she was sad. And I was like, "Are you okay?" And she's like, oh, um, he tried to block me into the gas station. Okay, let me be clear about something. My buddy's house is right here. The gas station is just right across the street over here. She was over there. She was about ready to go to work, and then she came back to the house. Uh, yeah, apparently he tried to block her. Apparently the ex-boyfriend tried to block her in, and uh, then an old man called the cops on the boyfriend, and uh, he started going off on the old guy. I'm not, I don't, oh, my God. Shut up! Sorry. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to shut off the game on him in a minute. Anyway, sorry. Let me get back to the story here. Um, so, old man calls the cops. Ex-boyfriend goes off on him. And so, 
his sister tells me, he's like, oh, he drives this kind of car. Not going to give that info out. Uh, and so we're like, okay. So we walk over to the gas station because my mom was cool. My mom used to work at that gas station, so she was cool with everybody there. And, uh, well, so that's where we went. And uh, the employee was just like, well, listen, uh, if you listen, you need to call the cops at this point. Because, you know, at this point I'm thinking, okay, this guy's a threat to my friends and me. So something needs to give here. So I call the cops, the non-emergency line. And uh, they're like, all right, well, listen, here's the deal. We're going to send an officer out. Sadly, they send the most laziest officer in town out. Yeah. This guy smokes on duty. It annoys me, okay? Anyway, so he comes out and he's like, well, listen, you should have reported it when it happened. I'm like, I did. And so, yeah. Well, so at that point, I go back to my friend's house and I was like, listen, uh, try to pack your shit. I want to get you guys out of here. And they're like, okay. And, uh. So my sister's like, no, they're not coming back to the house with us because I, I don't know why my sister's the way she is. Just not, I'm not even going to bother with it. Anyway, so I end up going back to my house here by myself. And I'm like, crap. And, you know, I'm thinking the whole time, what if what if he kills them or what if he hurts them? Because this guy's, this guy's a freaking nuthead, okay? Anyway, so he messages me an hour later. And he says, dude, uh ex-boyfriend got arrested i'm like really and he's like not for the charges you wanted but come to find out he had a warrant out for his arrest for uh criminal convent no criminal criminal confinement no he, he did something like i can't remember what it was is either harboring a fugitive or criminal conversion or whatever so so i guess soon after that he got hauled off to county prison and so hopefully won't be seeing him for a while um you know, I, I wanted to film all this. I really did, but I don't think my friend's mom would have been okay with that. Uh, but, like, seriously, I was actually ready to record for witness issues. And so, yeah. Well, I went home happy. I told you there was a happy ending. He got arrested. And, you know, I got a big thank you from all three members of the family. And so, even Mickey. So, yeah. I'm happy that I was able to help. Yeah. And, you know... I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick little thing on abuse. If you abuse your family, you are a piece of shit. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Well, you guys, I guess that's it for today. Um, I guess I'll update you if anything goes on. Uh, I want to thank my friend for allowing me to tell this story today. Um, yeah. Comment, read, subscribe. Peace out.